is a, a great event for me. I've, I've waited uh, forever to have the uh, kind of tail end of all the stuff that's come up uh, be something we could talk about, and it's amazing. You guys were ch chatting earlier when I was talking individually about how long it's been, so, th so that's, uh, that's great. Uh, so before we get started, why don't we just kind of go down the line here and tell us a little bit about uh, who you are, what you do, et cetera. There are bios that, that Jenny has placed on the table so you can get more in depth, but give us more of the informal uh, what, you, what you do at each of your companies. So if you want, go ahead and start your end, Mike. Sure. Uh, Mike Coleman, I do represent Chelan PUD. I'm the managing director of fiber and telecommunications for the district. I started that job in 2012, so I've been here roughly four years. The Chelan PUD, most of you know what it is, but it, it's a customer-owned organization. Its uh, governance is provided by a board of five elected commissioners. We have about 700 employees. Not only do we have extremely reasonable, cheap electric rates in the county, the district also provides uh, retail water services, retail sewer services, and of course the wholesale fiber services in the county. And as far as me, myself, and I, I uh, <clears throat> I'm about a 30-year veteran of the telecom industry. I started with Southwestern Bell Telephone many, many years ago and worked through a number of uh, different assignments within Southwestern Bell, which ultimately became SBC. I have a, uh, a very good background in central office switching, transmission systems, IP networking, and ultimately managed a nationwide force of voice and data engineers for one of the subsidiaries called SBC Datacom. And out of that subsidiary, we provided networks, high-speed networks on the premises for everybody from small and medium-sized businesses up to Fortune 100 companies. I have to say that I really, really enjoy the lifestyle in Wenatchee. It's one of the things that brought me here. I first visited Wenatchee in 2006. I fell in love with the terrain, the people, and what was available here for, from a quality of life perspective. So my number one priority now is to manage our fiber optics program to continue with a robust world-class network that's capable of delivering both the services and the bandwidth to enable the, the businesses and the personal lives in the county. Great, thank you very much. How about you, Martin? Um, uh, Martin Straub. I own a small managed service provider business, uh, which means I provide technology services um, uh, to businesses. We have about 30 or 40 businesses we serve, and uh, really I have very little infrastructure for my business, uh, supporting uh, clients of size from anywhere from one employee to, uh, I think we have some one client who has maybe 75 employees, up to that many workstations, and probably 30 or 40 servers that we support. Um, so the fiber network has helped me establish that business. Interestingly, I came from the Puget Sound, moved to Wenatchee in 2001. I worked in the tech industry in Seattle actually for a streaming service similar to maybe some of you know Real Networks. It was a similar business to what Real Networks is doing, but there was nothing like a fiber network. at the, You know, there was no fiber at the time, even in the Puget Sound. And then when I moved over here in 2001, it was, we, were we were kind of doing a little rolling back the history a little bit before the session, and uh, I think that was just about the time that the PUD was piloting the fiber network, um, but it was still pretty much in its infancy for sure, and a lot of people didn't really know anything about why they would want to be interested in fiber. Um, so I had the opportunity for the first uh, dozen years that I lived over here, or lived and worked over here to work for Cordell Naren Company as their IT director, and sort of had a chance from the inside of a business to see how, um, as internet speeds increased, they could be leveraged for a business. And then as those service, as higher speed internet got, uh, made things like cloud services more available to small businesses, that's when I decided to open my business and try to, I guess, advocate how cloud services could benefit small businesses. 
uh, which is largely what drove me to start my business three and a half years ago and primarily focus on smaller businesses in the area and nonprofits and help them utilize the fiber network and the available cloud services to uh, really bring technology home to them and leverage things that were never that they could never have access to previously because it was too expensive. That's, that's great. And if I forget to come back around, you mentioned two things about um, small business and small area that we live in and generally a lot of times when we think about big fiber and those sorts of things we think big city big business right. so let's make sure we, we circle back around to that How about you ross uh, my name is ross lambert i am currently the vice president of software architecture at insight catastrophe group which is not located in wenatchee it's located in new jersey but one of the intriguing things is that lo and behold the fiber network has enabled me to work in that capacity across the country which is really cool um, my history is I'm a software engineer at heart, always will be, and uh, in fact, for, ran my own software company for about 10 years, and I got to tell this story. Um, we had a little Macintosh product. I came down to the Chelan PUD auditorium and demoed it to the Mac user group, and there was this young guy that was really interested. And some years later, um, it, as you know, high tech's quite volatile. Um, I was looking for a job, so I go at this company and a young guy had started it and get to talking turned out he was that young man that was in the in the auditorium and so of course he hired me yes <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> the uh, the most amazing thing of all is that uh, he got to know my daughter and uh, wound up marrying her <laughs> so it must have really been a, a good product demo <laughs> <laughs> and now Chris Carter is my son-in-law and his brother Ben is here. <laughs> so, anyway, all all that to say, what, what were we supposed to talk about? <laughs> yeah, so I think I think you covered it. And, and again, thank you for bringing the perspective of uh, an employee that has the the benefit, not only just the businesses and business owners like we're bringing up. How about you, Chris? Uh, Chris Erlinson, uh, manager of a small uh, civil engineering, surveying, and GIS company. Um, we're actually corporate headquarters in Brewster, a little small town. Hmm. Um, started there in 86 um, as a survey shop uh, that my dad started. Um, we then expanded to Chelan and then to East Wenatchee. <clears throat> and as Martin uh, and I were talking earlier, I think it was around 2001. I have to go back and really dredge up my memory banks. Um, we got connected onto the uh, fiber to connect all of our offices. Um, and I think we were on the bleeding edge a little bit, um, but we wanted to um, provide the most efficient uh, network we could for our, all of our team members uh, to be able to work seamlessly. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a commonplace now, and, and to go elsewhere without it is, uh, is kind of a surprise to us. Um, and, and as we bring on new team members, uh, they're, they're pretty impressed uh, by the tech that we have in this little valley here. So you're going to have to forgive me for uh, not knowing all of the tech-savvy nomenclature as I'm a land surveyor at heart and uh, <laughs> uh, best suited in the woods or, or drawing maps and, and calculating things. So. Yeah, and I'll, and I'll say he's a very humble individual, too, because the, they employ a lot of people. They're a little bit better than a small <laughs> organization.